In this lesson, we're going to learn how to um, control solenoids, which are kind of like uh, it motors in the sense that an electromagnet moves something. However, instead of turning it, it pushes it back and forth. So let's check them out. Okay, I just wanted to share with you a couple examples of solenoids. This one um, pulls a um, metal rod with the help of an electromagnet. And, and here are the two leads here. You just plug your um, plug your uh, your power up to these leads, and it, when triggered, will suck this back in and hold it until the power releases, and then it pops right out again. Um, this one is actually a valve, a, a solenoid controlled valve. Um, you hook up a water supply to it, and when triggered, it opens the valve up and lets the water through. And when the electricity turns off the valve closes up again and water can't get through. So next let's um, wire up this, uh, this solenoid and, and learn how to make it work. For this project you'll need an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, a TIP120 transistor, a 220 ohm resistor, some jumpers, and a 9 volt battery with a, a connector that will plug into your breadboard. You also need a solenoid. The ones, the one that I'm using for this demonstration, I wasn't able to get a part number for, but um, they're pretty much standard. You know, you just you just hook up power to it, and it works just like a motor. Okay, let's wire up the solenoid. Okay, let's um, begin with. Uh, I've got these two leads with female ends on one end, and I'm just going to plug them into these leads here just to. Uh, Just, just so they're ready to go there. Um, next, let's plug in the transistor. The transistor is kind of interesting. It has three leads. Um, the one on the left is called the base, and that's like your trigger, right, for the switch. The, the middle one is the collector. That's the positive lead. And then the, um, the one on the right is the emitter and is the negative lead. So you want to plug your power supply into the middle one and then the um, right, uh, the right hand one goes to ground basically. Um, so let's plug it in. And let's plug in the base to begin with. Um, it needs to be protected from the full uh, voltage of the Arduino so let's use this resistor And plug your jumper into pin 13. Next, let's hook up the power supply. This is just a 9 volt battery, and this thing converts the plug into, into a couple of jumpers. So we're just going to plug those into the power and ground buses as appropriate. Okay. The uh, the positive lead of the solenoid plugs into the collector. No, that's not right. The ground plugs into the collector. This is kind of complicated, isn't it? Uh, and then the positive plugs into the power bus. Now, how does that work? See how the power comes in through the 9 volt into the power bus through this wire to the solenoid and then comes back through the ground to the collector. Basically the collector is the input for a circuit and the emitter is the output. So this this is going to complete the circuit basically once we trigger it with the base. Okay the ground goes to ground And then let's just plug the ground into the the ground on the Ar Arduino. I don't know if we really have to do that, but 
maybe. Okay, and what we're going to do is is we're going to program it now and see what happens. Okay, we're going to use the blink sketch to control our solenoid. Um, basically, uh, I use the blink sketch whenever I want to just ping something to see if it works. In this case, um, I want to turn on and off the, the solenoid. Um, and what better way to do that than to just have a um, an Arduino sketch like Blink that turns something on for a period of time and then turns it off for a period of time. Let's modify this though by changing it to 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds for on and 3 seconds for off. That way we can observe it a little bit more closely. So let's upload the sketch. Okay, I've programmed my Blink sketch, so let's see what happens. Okay, this isn't going to get stuck in by itself. It's assuming that, uh, there you go. So it's going to be 10 seconds and then it's going to pop out. Um, and then I'll have three seconds to put it back in. There you go. Now, then, then 10 more seconds, it's going to pop out again. There you have it. You could have pretty much anything um, uh, controlled by a transistor. It's, it's one of the building blocks of modern electronics, and you get to control it with your Arduino. That's it for Lesson 3. In Lesson 4, we're going to check out DC motors and learn how to control their speed using pulse width modulation. Thanks for watching.